Buckle up, everybody buckled? What's the buckle sound like? That is not what a buckle sounds like. It's like a click. Clearly I have no future in voiceover for any kind of animation. We're checking out more entitled bride and grooms. <laughs> Let's just move on from whatever the hell I just attempted to do here, okay? Good morning. My name is Blank. I am the wedding coordinator for Blank and Blank Sanders. I am reaching out to all confirmed guests to do a final head count and go over some rules and regulations of the wedding day. Oh, yippee. First of all, are you still attending with a plus one? Here are the rules and regulations. <clears throat> Please arrive 15 to 30 minutes early. Please do not wear white, cream, or ivory. Please do not wear anything other than a basic bob or ponytail. Please do not fave a full face of makeup. Do not record during the ceremony. Do not check in on Facebook until instructed. Use this hashtag when posting all pictures. Do not talk to bride at all. Everyone will toast with Remy, no acceptance. Lastly, must come with gift of $75 or more, or you will not be admitted in. If you have any questions or need clarification, please call me directly. Yeah, I will call and uh, deny my RSVP. I want to retract that. I can't make it. I will be sick that day. My goldfish passed away. Not happening. Hey, girly. Thanks for your RSVP. Brad and I are thrilled to have you for our special day. Can I ask a simple favor? No. You're gonna ask me to work for free. Thanks, I'm excited and happy for you. And of course, what do you need? I need you to make a custom centerpiece for each of the 20 tables. If each one could be a separate Disney villain, I would die. Oh, and could you also do a cake topper? Oh my God, I'm flowered, but wait, the wedding is next week. That's not enough time for me. Yeah, it's next week, but we figured they can't be that long to make, right? Of course you figured that. Actually, each wood carving, oh my God, wood carving. I was thinking like clay, Play-Doh. <laughs> Actually, each wood carving takes approximately three to five hours of work. Painting takes another hour depending on detail. I could probably manage a cake topper, but I definitely don't ha have time to make 20 centerpieces. I'm sorry. You're kidding. This is such short notice. What are we going to do? Huh? Am I missing something? You just asked me now, a week before the wedding. I had no idea you were planning on using my art. God, you clearly don't understand the stress and pain that it takes to plan a wedding, do you? Um, no, but I also think you should have asked me way in advance. Maybe you could try finding stuff in iParty. <gasps> go F yourself, worst coworker ever uninvited. Okay, go F yourself, and I hope you have a miserable marriage that ends in divorce. Toodles, we got a sign on a tree. Friday and Saturday, June 18th and 19th, we will be hosting our wedding ceremony and reception. Please do not camp here. We have an entire guest list arriving for the weekend to celebrate, so if you decide side to anyways we will set up around you and do it anyways make sure you have a okay i need to zoom the hell in i love that they ran out of space and added a little piece of paper for the ps they were determined please make sure you have a gift and a dish for the barbecue ps this will be a loud music and late night type of wedding so if you're here expect that there will be 50 plus of us. Thank you for understanding. Hmm, I don't think that's how it works. I really wish there was a video to go along with this. <laughs> My fiance and I are looking to elope in Salt Lake City flats. No family or friends just an officiant. Our idea was to have it styled up and have it open to photographers and other vendors willing to do it as a styled shoot. How convenient. I'd pay for florals and setups and just charge each photographer. You're charging? And just charge each photographer a small rate to shoot as long as we get the photos in return. So people are gonna pay to shoot your wedding. Like I see what you're trying to do and the way you're setting it up, but I need an update on this. I need to know how the hell this played out. Driver needed. The school bus emoji has me concerned. Okay, everyone. So me and blank are getting married and have a three day event in blank. We, oh my God, we will need a mini bus. I knew it. Driver for four days driving back and forth from the train station to wedding location. Okay, so like shuttle. Morning shuttles and evening shuttles, etc. 
food and attendance at the wedding when not driving will be included and it'll be fun. Is anyone willing to volunteer to help us with this? Much love. Like I would, I would if you're gonna, if you're gonna pay me. Like driving to and from, especially if you have driven buses in the past or you just really enjoy driving, I don't know. Like it might be worth the extra cash, but the fact that you're getting paid with just attendance and food, no. Like food for the lunch break, but I need an hourly wage. And that is four days. Do you think I just don't have a life? Do you think I was just gonna sit at home for a full four days? That I'm like, mm, you know what? I might as well just go drive a bus because I'm this bored. Perhaps you attended your cousin's wedding and it was actually your first time meeting her new husband. The ceremony was lovely. You were eager to introduce yourself during the reception. You were chatting with your cousin as she and her new husband made their rounds. And when she finally got her husband to come over, he took one look at you and said, I don't have time to mingle with people I didn't invite, then walked away. You were shocked. Later, you noticed he and his groomsmen getting belligerently drunk in a corner, ignoring the bride, her family, and her friends. It was disgusting. I love the storytelling of this. <laughs> Imagine, like it felt like I was like there. Yeah, what a keeper. Prince Charming, you might say. Hey Jesse, a long time no talk. How have you been? Sorry to hear about your parents. Sorry I didn't get in touch at the time. So I'm getting married. Third time is the charm and I'm looking for a makeup artist. Are you still practicing and would you be free? It's only a small event and I don't have a huge budget. Let me know, hun. This just felt like a very awkward way. Like, hey, sorry about your parents. I haven't talked to you in a long time. Uh, can you help me? Hi, wow, blast from the past. Okay, blast from the past. Have you talked to them in the last decade? I'm okay, how are you doing? Congratulations on your upcoming nuptials. You must be excited. Yes, I am still a makeup artist. I'm in the process of opening a salon in London with blank, which is exciting. Where are you living now? It might be easier for you to use someone close to you. Not bad, excited for the wedding. Blank says hi, by the way. Yeah, I thought about getting a local makeup artist, but like I said, I'm on a limited budget. Was hoping to get a friend's discount. It's only a three hour drive for you to get here and you could come to the wedding if you wanted. Well, wow, how generous. It's on 18th of July this year at blank. I was really hoping to get a 50s style hair and makeup, which I don't think is too complicated. I have some inspo styles that you could use. You could come and practice before, so I could drive three hours just to practice on you before, so we can get settled on a look. I could try and come up to see you, but it's a long way and I'm not sure blank would be okay for the journey. Please, please, please say yes. You could take some pics from it to use for your portfolio. Ha <laughs> ha, I see. How much do you think you can afford? My normal rates are 75 pounds per hour plus travel expenses. I'm sure I could reduct it a little for a friend, but I'd need my travel covered. Also, I'd usually just do makeup, but can do simple hair. I didn't know your wedding was that soon. Not sure if I'm free that day, but can check my calendar later. Don't think I'd be able to travel down for a trial. Like I said, Blank and I are setting up our own salon, so we're really busy at the moment. Oh my God, like tell me you're not actually shocked. Delete those shocked emojis. What are you shocked about? You really charge that much? That is a lot of money. I was hoping you would offer to do it for free. Maybe as a wedding present to me. I could probably give you 10 pounds for your travel, but if you're coming to the wedding, then I don't really see why I should. I don't feel like you're being fair. I invited you to the wedding, which is only small, and I've said you could use the pictures you take for your portfolio, so I'd be doing you a favor too. Can you meet me halfway here? We haven't spoken for 10 years. I was joking about a decade. And the first time we do, you're texting me to ask me to do your makeup for your wedding for free. I appreciate you don't have a lot of disposable money at the moment, and if I lived closer, I'd try to help. But 10 pounds wouldn't even cover my patrol for the six hour round journey, let alone my time or products. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to be able to do your makeup for you. If you want, I could send you some links to some YouTube videos that may help you do your own style. I hope you have an amazing wedding with a beautiful marriage with blank. That was so nicely said. <gasps> F you selfish beyond. I can't. And you know what? This is why I don't even open messages now. If I see something come in from someone like, hey girl, blah, 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 when they haven't talked to me in literally a decade since we were in high school. And I'm like, don't, no, we're not friends. Don't hey girl me. You didn't even like me back then. Why are you, don't slide in my Facebook. Don't try to add me. I hate that. I don't even open them. Lions from hell. Is this a website? <laughs> 
<laughs> Clients from hell? Do we get to just like complain about rude customers? Oh my God, what I would have done to have a website like this in my life in the past. Client, I'm looking for very edgy photos for my wedding. Should be an all day job with six hours of post, hold on, six hours of post photos with the wedding party. God bless that wedding party. Oh my God. I'll need a DVD of all the edited photos in high resolution and you will be compensated $150. I may also be willing to let you do a trash the dress shoot with me the next day. Okay, are you the queen? In response, I sent a short but polite email stating I could not meet the requirements at the quoted rate. Client, look <laughs> Look, a-hole, I know how the business works. I've been a wedding photographer for 15 years and I make over 8,000 a day. I was gonna say, do you even know what wedding photography costs these days? Thousands of dollars, especially if you want a video. A video of your wedding, way more. Get out of your mind. Dear friends of blank and blank, our wedding will be a small but poignant affair held at a log home in the woods in beautiful southern Wisconsin. Due to the physical nature of the wedding area, there will not be enough space for all the friends and relatives we would dearly love to invite. After pondering a number of alternatives, we decided that a lottery would be the most equitable manner of dealing with the space slash disappointment problem. We have indeed already held this lottery with your name included, but alas, it is our sad duty to inform you that your name does not appear on the winner's list. Nevertheless, our good wishes go out to you. And when our gift from you arrives at the address below, we will thank you with regrets and respect. So and so. Yeah. Respect out the window. <laughs> you emailed me to let me know. You're not invited. But we did do a lottery. Uh, you just didn't make it. So like it's not our fault. And uh, we'll take the gift still. Thanks. That does sound like a beautiful wedding though in the woods like that. Oh, that would be like a little fairy tale moment. Like Hansel and Gret. Well, they died. <laughs> Didn't they like get burned in an oven? That is not a good example, but like just the vibe of hands. Okay, that's not a good vibe. I don't know the ending of that story, but I'm pretty sure they're not alive. Oh, didn't realize I'd have to pay. What is with people thinking they don't have to pay? I'd have thought with the current stage of your career, you'd be doing this for exposure and get your name out there. Sadly, neither my rent or bills can be paid in exposures. Happy to do a song for the price above in time for your wedding. Let me know if I can help further. That's a bit cheeky. In my opinion, you're being unrealistic with pricing and you'll build a name for yourself much quicker by doing these for free or really cheap to get your name out there. Talented for sure, but can't see people paying for something like that. The world doesn't owe you a living. Oh my God. Even if, you know what, no. Wow, I really controlled my sass there. You guys gotta give me credit, okay? Cause I was about to say something so freaking sassy and I was like, you know what? We were always taught if you can't, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. And I held back. This has to bring me, universe, please note this moment and bring me some good karma because I really, maybe therapy something. I really did something there, okay? Anyways, um, all I'll say is I wouldn't even want to sing for a type of person like this anyway. Like even if I was like, you know what? Of course I'll write a song for your wedding. This type of person and the way they're speaking, the way they view the situation, I wouldn't even want to be around them. You guys know the drill. If I'm reading a lot of texts, I'm drinking a lot of water, and I'm putting on a lot of lip oil. Drink your water, kid. I'm gonna need an answer about the cake making by tonight. I'd held off plans waiting for you, but I can't wait any longer. Earth to something, whoever their name is. Let's call her Susan, because I see an S. Susan, Earth to Susan. <laughs> Come on, I've been polite up to now, but you're being a bit rude. You think you'd know from your aunt blank how rough these weddings are. Hi, sorry, I've been with mum getting everything ready for the move. Haha, <laughs> been a bit stressful. I think there's been a miscommunication. I did say I'd be unable to help with the cake. I really do have absolutely no experience doing that kind of baking. If it's fine with you, I'd love to just come as your guest and perhaps try and bake you something nice after the fact. I didn't say I wanted perfection. LOL. It'll just be baking the four sponges, cutting them into size and covering them in icing and maybe a bit of superficial decorating. Everyone is pitching in. You're the only one I'm having problems with so far. <gasps> Susan, I'm here. I'm sorry, but the last cake I baked was half a year ago and it was from a packet. I feel uncomfortable being in charge of your wedding cake. Is there some other way that I can help? Reasonable. Yes, by doing the thing I asked. I said some other 
way. I'm not asking you to be Gordon Ramsay, lol. I just need a vanilla or carrot cake, something simple. If you're gonna dig your heels in, then I'll need help another way. Of course, let me know what you need. Blank and blanks dresses need fixing and I'm not even gonna tell you the prices I got quoted, lol insulting. I just need some mesh added and then the hem off blanks brought up so it doesn't drag. You mean dress altering? I'm sorry, but I really, really wouldn't feel good about doing that. Again, I have absolutely no idea how. I think it's best left for the professionals. Oh, come on, blank, you're being... Susan, you're being belligerent now. Is there anything I can say that you'll actually do? Everyone else has been rushing to help us. The smaller jobs are things like designing and creating the reminders for guests and the final seating plan. But as it's smaller, I'd prefer both done together. I honestly can't tell if you're joking or not. If not, then I'm sorry, but I don't have a clue how to make a reminder. I didn't even know that was a thing. If you'd like me to swing by and give my opinion, I'd be happy to. I'd also love to come by and help you set up for the wedding before the guests arrive, if that's something I can do. That's nice. This, is that a yes? This is why people say you're lazy and you'll have problems later in life. Oh, that's nice. I don't think anybody says that, but I'll write it on the inside of my wrist so later to keep <laughs> for later to keep me grounded. Thanks. I love that. Oh, they do. LOL. Good luck trying to get into a university with that attitude. You'll be out the door in a second. I don't even want to think about the kind of family who doesn't help family. There's a special place in hell for people who are this selfish. I'm messaging your mom in a minute. I might be thinking of rearranging your invitation. Not so sure anymore. You'll be waiting a few hours. She's in the kitchen making me a four-tiered carrot cake. <laughs> LOL, it's only taken her four minutes and a YouTube tutorial. Please don't message me on here again. <laughs> I love, I love the sass at the end. I'm assuming they're cousins then, right? It sounds like they're butting heads. And like, they must be young. If she's like, she's probably graduating high school if she's talking about like university and stuff. Like, oh my God, I am not baking someone's wedding cake or doing dress alterations when I am neither of the two. You're out of your mind. Or, oh, we got another little story. Or maybe you dealt with an entitled groom before his wedding day. He wanted all of his groomsmen to drop $3,000 on a Vegas bachelor party weekend and was rude and dismissive when people expressed tight finances. He told the group, if you can't afford the $3,000, for this trip, you send whatever else you can afford to me for my honeymoon fund. WTF. How are people friends with this though? How does this groom even have groomsmen is what I wanna know. I don't have people like that in my life for a reason because if I did, snip, snip, trim, you know? You got dead ends, you got things weighing your healthy hair down, you cut that shit off. Whoever needs to hear that today, trim. Trim some stuff out of your life that doesn't belong there like him. All right, guys, I'm getting out of here. I think we should all round of applause for me for holding a moment of sass today. Because what do I say? There's a difference between being sassy and being a bitch. And what I was going to say was, <laughs> but I didn't say it. So you can be sassy, but you got to keep it classy. That's all. So on that note, stay classy and stay sassy and I'll see you tomorrow.